hi guys welcome back to my channel um happy new year merry christmas <laughs> it's a bit old to say that but i feel like i haven't spoke to you since before christmas so i hope you all had a lovely christmas and a lovely new year and 2020 is gonna be great for us all health and happiness so we had um emma in today and she was back in to get our Christmas set off, ready for some new nails. Um, so we took them back down to the clear layer, done all the prep, and now we're going in with our design. Really disappointed with my camera angle. <laughs> I've still got, I've my Christmas tree is down, but I haven't moved my um, table back round, and it just, everything's just not right. So I need, I, I need to sort that out probably tomorrow just because I can't deal with it anymore um, <clears throat> and I didn't realise that the camera was just yeah really bad like this it was kind of tilted and just a horrible angle but anyway so this set she come in and she was like oh I want red I want like a deep red purple um, something like that I was like okay fine and then she went and then she was looking through some um, some of my Instagram and she was like oh actually I like navy so I was like okay fine we'll do navy <laughs> And then I went, actually, do you know, I went, I went shopping today with Soph and every, we went TK Maxx and we went to uh, B&M and everywhere had emerald, like all the home, you know, interior. It was just new to me. It was emerald and gold. It was just everywhere, chairs ornaments like just uh, so much emerald color and honestly i loved it um yeah one for the home and two for the now so i took inspiration from that so we're doing like an emerald goldy sort of design yeah so it's emerald and gold and honestly you probably have all seen it about if you've been out shopping lately it's really really nice and it looks nice with like plants, green plants. Oh, anyway, so that's where the inspo came from. So we had to try and find a color or work out how to make this color. Um, and I had two colors in mind and they both weren't right on their own. So do you know what we did? We mixed them together <laughs> and it made this perfect color here. So we used um, both from CJP, um, we used half lagoon and we used half grasshopper. Um, so we used the lagoon for the brightness and then we just needed a little depth of the grasshopper. I'm sure it's called grasshopper anyway. Um, so yeah, we just mixed like literally 50-50 of each um, and we made this colour. But you just can work with it. Um, and see what colour you like best but <clears throat> yeah I was like oh just love it just love it so she's like yeah okay we'll have it and I think she was uh, pretty glad she did so anyway um, that's what we're doing here um, I'm why am I faffing around so so much on this now I was taking my time with this set to be fair I just wanted it to be right you know you know you just want it to be right I wanted a really good picture I wanted her to love them um, so, yeah. so we're doing that on the baby and the pointer just two plain nails <clears throat> and then I think we move on to the middle finger so I'm using flawless <laughs> from Nao Nails just for our little base colour background colour na natural nail colour I don't know what do you call it um, I'm using my size 12 brush um, so there we go, and now we're going in with that colour we made and some Snow White. I use Snow White when doing marbles because it's much more runnier and easy to marble than... Well, coconut milk is still good, don't get me wrong, but uh, when you want to marble something, you want it, you want it runny. My marble didn't even go that good on this this finger. It went better on the others. On the other hand, which is always typical, the one I don't record, but anyway... Um, so we're just gonna <coughs> oh sorry would you that wasn't a sneeze that was just a cough we are marbling just with those colors at the tip and then we're going to come in with some glitter so this glitter is 
also from CJP, a premix glitter, and it's called Fool's Gold. It's just a really nice um, gold, really. It's, it kind of went perfect, actually, with this emerald colour. It was it was exactly how I saw it in the shops. It was kind of like a, a rich... Oh, how would you describe that gold? Like proper gold. Um, so we're just doing like a little glitter swoosh. Always flipping the hand around, checking it from that view. Um, just keep dipping in and um, put it on the nail until I'm happy. And then on the ring finger, it's just going to be a full nail of that glitter and then over the top I'm gonna add um, champagne gold which is from my website just for a few added extra chunky specs So the fun um, is going to be a glitter fade and we're using that colour and I'm just going to fade um, the two um, glitters into that. So I'll just leave you to watch. Yeah, I'm just leaving you to watch because I've just ate a bit of pizza that had a hidden spicy jalapeno, whatever it's called, and my mouth's on fire. So I need some milk. Quick little action shot, mid shot before cap him. That was her other hand. Um, I capped off camera. I d actually, I didn't. I capped on camera, decided to leave it out just because the camera angle was so. I nearly swore then. So bad. Um, and now we're going in with top coats. So I'm using a uh, shaped as well, buffed obviously. And now we're going in with top coats. So I'm using CJP Tech Free Top Gloss. And we're just going to apply that lusciously over all her nails i sprayed it with some uh uh like dehydrating spray and it you could really like the reveal was nice 
you know, in, in the flesh, it was nice. I don't, know, don't think it's coming up on camera here, but it was nice. Um, so yeah, I leave a little clip at the end for you to see. They were stunning. I loved everything about them. I hope all my clients have them all next week. That's it. I'm praying because I loved them. We'll obviously switch up the design, but same sort of thing. Here we go. Boom, bam, fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.